What's a cricket World Cup without a lineup of juicy controversies? True to form, this cricket World Cup has generated enough masala to keep tongues wagging, fans happy, and newspaper journalists gainfully employed. Today, as we lead up to the cricket World Cup final on Sunday, we thought we should, you know, briefly discuss about the controversies so far. But then we decided to do it with a twist. We thought we would like to talk about the controversies and the non-troversies. Because there have been plenty of them. Years looking at you, Pakistan. So this this special episode of uh, Game Time Special World Cup Daily, we dedicate to the separating the controversies from the non-troversies at the ongoing Cricket World Cup. This is me, Amit Kamat. Uh, joining me as always is uh, Mihir Vasavda. Mihir, controversy or non-troversy? Which of them has caught your eye so far at the ongoing World Cup? That's a very tricky question, Amit. कहाँ से शुरू करें यार हम प्लेंटी ऑफ मोमेंट्स आई थिंक द मोस्ट बिजार वुड बी एंजेलो मैथ्यूज गेटिंग टाइम डाउट एंड द कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी इट वॉज इवन द कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी इट वॉज जस्ट हिलेरियस एट सम लेवल टू सी दैट एंड आई थिंक एंड वॉज पीक क्रिकेट राइट आई मीन वी स्पोकन अबाउट क्रिकेट एंड इट स्टूप इट रूल्स आउटडेटेड रूल्स एंड यहाँ पर पूरा दिन मैच चल रही है और आई जस्ट थॉट किया दो मिनट के लिए अगर जो कोई बीस सेकेंड भी कोई लेट है तो फिर क्या प्रॉब्लम है तुम्हारा खेलने दो बेचारे को बट दैट वॉज वन थिंग एंड देन यू हैव दर एक्सट्रीम ऑफ यू नो अफगानिस्तान एंड सम ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट डेड द मैसेज दैट दे पास ऑन द होल थिंग अबाउट इट फान पठान डांसिंग विद अफगानिस्तान प्लेयर सेलिब्रेटिंग दर विनो वो पाकिस्तान एंड वहां पर पाकिस्तान से इतने स्ट्रॉग रिएक्शन आना लाइक यू सेट डॉ आई मीन वी आर नॉट लुकिंग एट पाकिस्तान बट हे वॉट कैन वी डू ना Yeah, I think. I mean, just let's talk about Angelo Matthews first because kafi kuch odd ho chuka hai unke country mein. I think at some point the cricket board was sacked. Then somebody, I think one of their coaches threw a Uno reverse card, and then suddenly the cricket board was revived again. वो फॉल्स स्टार्ट के वजह से नाउ आईसीसी हैज ऑलरेडी सस्पेंडेड द श्रीलंकन क्रिकेट बोर्ड सो इवन ये फॉल्स स्टार्ट उनको थोड़ा सा भारी पड़ा है एंड ऑब्वियसली वील टॉक अबाउट एंजेलो मैथ्यूज बेचारे आई फाउंड शाकिब अल हसन रोल इन द होल थिंग प्रिटी कॉमिकल ही इज द वन हु अपील्ड एंड आई थिंक दिस होल थिंग अबाउट एंजेलो मैथ्यूज एक्चुअली गोइंग टू ट्विटर एंड एंड टैगिंग आईसीसी एंड टेलिंग दम नहीं नहीं भाई आपने मिस्टेक किया है ये लीजिए मैं आपको वीडियो एविडेंस दिखा रहा हूँ and then you know the umpires coming out and saying no no boss we had given you plenty of warning 30 seconds before we were about to time you out that you are at the risk of getting timed out fir bhi aapne nahi suna you went and you took your own sweet time taking your guard then you realized you had already been timed out essentially before that helmet ka strap broke so all in all a pretty comical uh, day at the ground comical and i mean if you remember after we discussed that we'll be talking about these things i was just going back reading some of the reports and it was very weird because when angelo matthews was being told by the umpires about what was going down when shakib alasan appealed to the umpires that matthews should be given out i think even matthews was grinning initially even he couldn't believe what was going on and ek tarike se yaar samajh bhi sakte ho uska thoda sa disbelief because in what 150 years of international cricket nothing like this has happened before so it is bizarre what cricket keeps throwing at you and it was now you can say thoda sa it was funny the way Matthews ka emotions changed uh, he was grinning at first and then he realized that you know everyone's serious he also asked the umpires are you serious umpire said they were and the fury right the anger on his face the expressions those were i mean, now when we look back it's funny because then you look at shakib who ek uska eyebrow like carlo ancelotti ek eyebrow khada karke side mein he is waiting for matthews to walk back the rest of the players are confused unhe pata nahi hai kya ho raha hai everyone else watching the match also having a clue what's happening until matthews actually walks back and throws his helmet to one side and then uska brilliant act in the press conference after the match jahan par uh, usne matlab koi kasar nahi chodi to take shakib ul hasan head on yeah and uh, i think mere speaking of uh, are you serious moments i think two former pakistan cricketers have been vying amongst themselves to give us the best are you serious moment of the whole world cup so far and i know abhi bhi aur maybe 3 ya 4 din baki hai so obviously that 
could still be topped. But uh, I mean, as far as ridiculous controversies uh, and conspiracy theories go, tell me which one is worst. Sikandar Bhakt saying that, you know, Rohit Sharma, when coin toss a coin, he can put a little bit of a fake the coin ko so that the opposition captain cannot see the coin. And which probably means that he's trying to imply that uh, jo bhi ICC ke log unhone, former player who goes to toss pe with the two captains, they are also favoring India, which is why they always say that the opposition captain has lost. So that is one conspiracy theory. Hassan Raza coming up with a very, very funny one saying that Indian bowlers ko jo ball milte hai, wo thode se alag hote hai box mein se. I don't know which one of that was more ridiculous. I'll be honest, I don't remember Sikandar Bhakt that much. So, I don't remember that he played test match, khele, ODIs. Khele. But the fact that he was given airtime on one of Pakistan's reputed news channels, Geo News, where he made these claims, I'm believing that he was an important character in Pakistan's cricket history. So, I don't I think the coin toss thing is interesting, you know, just the thought of it, that there are cameras hai on the ground. I mean, if you've been to a stadium, and I'm guessing uh, Sikandar Bhakt has been to many stadiums, assuming that he's a cricketer, international level himself. So, you can see that when there's an international match, it's not that two players, one umpire, one match referee, are standing there, just coin and that's it, it's done. काफी सारे लोग वहां पर आसपास खड़े रहते हैं फ्रॉम कैमरामैन टू आई डोंट नो वो जो चाइल्ड मैस्कट्स आते हैं वो देयर इज जस्ट सम बिकॉज़ क्रिकेट इज अ वेरी वियर्ड स्पोर्ट इन दैट सेंस देयर आर सम रैंडम ऑन लुकर्स मे बी ग्राउंड्समैन और पिच वाले जो लोग रहेंगे वो बट इट्स अ क्राउडेड स्पेस तो टू थिंक कि इतने सारे लोगों में रोहित शर्मा ने उसका कॉइन टॉस ऐसे किया है कि नो वन एक्चुअली सीज की व्हिच साइड ऑफ द कॉइन इज फॉलन और वो सारे टॉस ऐसे ही चोरी करके जीत रहे हैं अलग लेवल की क्रिएटिविटी थोड़ी है तो सही मानना पड़ेगा उसमें Absolutely. I think uh, Pakistan has been truly a gift that has not stopped giving all throughout the World Cup. Just today, in fact, if you look at Meir, so Inzamamul Haq stepped down as the chief selector because there was a whole conflict of interest controversy happening in uh, Pakistan cricket in the middle of the World Cup because apparently he had ties with a, a management team which has ties with a lot of big players including Babar Azam. So there was this whole thing ki how can you be the chief selector and also represent players. So that was a thing. Conflict of interest uh, was one of the controversies that came up. Pakistan's way of emerging from that has been to wait for Babar Azam to step down. And I don't know, Mihir, if you remember a couple of, I think last week, yeah, the week before that, we saw this hilarious uh, issue where Shahid Afridi went all guns blazing against Pakistan cricket board yeah. ke head, Zaka Ashraf. And then finally, I think it reached to a stage where Zaka Ashraf had to invite uh, Shahid Afridi to PCB headquarters and tell him that, you know, you help us out with mapping the future of uh, Pakistan cricket. So, Shahid Afridi gets invited to talk to Zaka Ashraf and two weeks later, Babar Azam quits who replaces him as the captain in uh, one of the formats it's Shaheen Shah Afridi who is the son-in-law of uh, <laughs> Shahid Afridi and within hours of Shaheen Shah Afridi being named as the captain Shahid Afridi already has been asked this question about conflict of interest whether he's lobbied for his son-in-law all of that. So, it is just pretty comical. I think whoever is managing Pakistan Cricket Board has some sort of a sense of humor about these sort of things. Yeah, and it's sad because up dono I mean like we've everyone's been kind of raving about it. Pakistan has this very funny side to it, but they've also been like I think one of the best uh, cricketing shows as everyone's been talking about has come out of Pakistan. So it's not that there are no intellectual cricket conversations. Nahi ho sakte hai. So you wonder why this extremely schizophrenic kind of uh, reaction to everything that's been happening in this World Cup with Pakistan. It sort of baffles me. Like it baffled me when they targeted Irfan Pathan, the fans from Pakistan and some players also targeted Irfan Pathan for celebrating dancing with Afghanistan players after they defeated Pakistan. So that was pretty weird as well. But just not controversies and controversies. It's, it's also what uh, you know Afghanistan has have done throughout this campaign. One of the most uh, heartfelt, the most touching moment for me, Amit, was after the match in Ahmedabad, I think it was, against South Africa. It was Shahidi, if I'm not remember, or, or Ibrahim Zadran, one of them, going uh, out at uh, post-midnight 
एंड देर वो सम स्ट्रीट डर स्लीपिंग ऑन द पेमेंट इन अहमदाबाद एंड वो सो रहे थे विदाउट सेइंग एनीथिंग सबके पास जाके फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज की नोट रखती उसने दिस इज ऑन द ईव ऑफ दिवाली एंड दैट वॉज अ ग्रेट जेस्टर आई थिंक ऑल दीज प्लेयर्स नो आई मीन देव सीन द हार्श रियालिटीज ऑफ लाइफ ऑल ऑफ देम एंड फॉर देम टू एक्चुअली गो आउट एंड डू दिस इज इज क्वाइट इनक्रेडिबल वेरी टचिंग मोमेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कप फॉर मी दैट वन Yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, to talk about Irfan Patan, I think everything that Irfan has done so far in the World Cup has kind of been under the scanner, thoda sa. It's obviously a world of social media where everything is polarizing act, I guess. So you're saying uh, you love the fact that he danced with the Afghan players? I mean, I didn't see. I don't have an opinion on it, to be honest. But you didn't find it particularly as irritating as the Pakistan Pakistanis did. <laughs> I found the reaction kind of amusing, but then fairly, if we just balance it and look at it, and if you were to switch sides, then you'd wonder, right? That if the team of X Y Z teams beat India and then a Pakistani player, say Wasim Akram, goes and dances with that team, I would wonder. How Indian social media would react? So, थोड़ा सा वो पर्सपेक्टिव से हम लोग देखे तो I mean you kind of get why it became an irritant for them. But that's the world of social media, right? I mean आप किसी के भी कोई भी हरकत पे आपको I mean the piece written by Sandeep Dwivedi उसमें एक सुपर नगेट है about Misbah ul Haq. and some random viewer asked him on the show uh, that he has been doing in Pakistan whether he dyes his beard. You know, and मिसबा उल का सिर्फ एक ही ये था कि यार वॉट्स योर बिजनेस नोइंग दैट सो आई थिंक अ लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स ऑन सोशल मीडिया दैट्स हैपनिंग सानू की मतलब इरफान पठान नाचा तो नाचा यार आई मीन आई डोंट सी वाई इट्स बीन सच अ बिग topic and again like i'm pretty sure if wasi makram does that i think the reaction would be same and i'm using the name wasi makram just because that's the first team that came top of my head post both left arm pacers both greats for india that's the only reason nothing else to imply what do you mean both played for india oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> clearly no clearly yeah. <laughs> both played at the highest level against each other one for india one for pakistan they could have played for india if it was not divided in the independence is what you mean right imagine what a team that would have been kuch aur controversy mil jata but anyway speaking of like a real true blue controversy like a controversy that deserves its place in the hall of fame i think we should talk about you know the way babar azam was like has been royally scapegoated essentially it, it did seem like the knives were out right from i think the third or the fourth game itself at the world cup there were rumors at one point that uh, you know there has been like a lot of friction between zaka ashraf and babar eventually at some point i think one of the pcb functionaries ka whatsapp chats with babar azam was leaked on a national television just because there was another story that babar has not been talking to the pcb chief so just to prove that wrong somebody decided they should leak whatsapp chats with the, their own national team captain <laughs> so i mean ye to matlab and obviously clearly until then there was the whole pakistan was still talking about i think unka team biryani kha raha hai nahi kha raha hai so that was i think the market shift from comical controversies to like a real proper neck deep issues wala controversy to be honest uh, when you said ki actual controversy ki hum baat kare i thought uh, this would be a segue to the pitch controversy so kind of blindsided me over there mr kamath but uh, we're saving yeah, the I... best for the last <laughs> i wanted to just uh, keep the weeds away from the actual grass or the shaved off grass <laughs> so should we start moving towards the grassy patches of this world cup in terms of stories yeah yeah absolutely Yeah, I mean, it's a story that dominated, na, the semi-final day. I mean, of course, multiple versions of it. Devendra Pandey on the Indian Express, he broke the story about how we saw images of, of course, Rahul Dravid, the India coach, landing in Bombay from uh, Bangalore, heading straight to the Wankhede Stadium two days before the semi-final against uh, New Zealand, and then Devendra Pandey reported that he was informed that the think tank, the Indian team think tank. informed the wankhede curator about their preference and uh, they just kind of had to shave off the grass whatever the patches of grass were on wankhede they kind of asked for a slow pitch i mean not exactly a turner but they had to shave off the grass i mean that was the controversy which we believed it was but the next day amit it kind of boiled over and became totally something else 
Yeah, I think a couple of British newspapers that started to report that, you know, the pitch that was going to be used for the semi-final between India and New Zealand had been changed almost at the last minute, which also kind of led to a lot of back and forth. The final word there was uh, by Gavaskar. Thoda sa, he got like really offended. He, he called people morons and asked them to yeah. shut up about <laughs> Sumir, uh, you want to like sum up that the pitch a bit? There are two issues here. I didn't see any reason, first of all, why India would want to do that. The fact that, yeah, of course, you have got great spinners and if you have apples to apples comparison, karoge, then if you have a slow track, a spinning track, then India would certainly be at an advantage because they have better spinners compared to any other team, which isn't always the case with the Pacers because uh, say Australia or New Zealand or South Africa, they have got very good Pacers. I mean, the balance there is kind of even, so to say. So you get that logic. But the fact that Mohamed Shami went on to pick seven wickets in that match, especially in the second innings, goes on to show that, you know, it didn't matter whether it was a slow pitch or turning track or whatever. But, I mean, I think a lot of people are missing the point here. The fact that what has been alleged is that the BCCI, quote-unquote, changed the pitch. And the issue here is not whether the pitch assisted spinners or pacers or not. It's just that by doing that, allegedly, the ICC's authority has been undermined. ICC is the one that should be deciding which pitch you should play here. This is an ICC tournament merely being hosted by India. It's not a bilateral series. It's not a series hosted by BCCI where they can get to decide Australia ke saath next week se T20 series start ho rahi hai. Aap unne outfield pe khila do and Australia can't do anything. Usme. So it's a very different thing when it comes to the ICC tournaments. And I think that's the point where ICC are the ones who should be deciding or uske badle par apparently it's been alleged ki BCCI ne kiya. Of course, ICC have denied it. I haven't read anything from the BCCI yet, any statement or so. Shubman Gill, I believe, was asked at the press conference after the match. And he also did not comment on this issue. So yeah, it's just that. I don't think it will taint India's win because of the way they have played. But yeah, it's a needless controversy from an Indian point of view. Absolutely. Well, that's, I guess, all the time we have for today. That was a fun conversation about controversies, non-troversies and everything else in the middle. If you are listening to this and you have a say on the funniest controversy or non-troversy you've come across over the course of the World Cup, please do message us on Twitter, send us an email telling us what your favorite controversy from this World Cup has been. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thank you so much for listening. This is me, Amit Kamat, and on behalf of my co-host Mihir Vasavda, this is us saying goodbye. Thank you so much for listening. You were listening to Express Sports by the Indian Express. This week's show was edited and mixed by Suresh Pawar and produced by me, Shashank Bhargav. If you like the show, then do subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also recommend the show to someone you think will like it. Share it with a friend or someone in your family. It's the best way for people to get to know about us. You can also tweet us at Express Podcasts and write to us at podcasts at indianexpress.com. 